Hi, Jim Walmart back. Uh, as I said before, I'm a maker of uh, Jim Walmart's Big Rack Bucklaw. Been doing that since 2003. And I uh, just thought I'd share with you a couple of tips uh, that have been successful for me uh, along through the years. One of them is calling uh, deer. Uh, a lot of people ask, uh, how do you call a deer? How do you rattle a deer? Use a grunt call, can call. Well, I thought I'd pick those three and uh, show you a little bit of how I do it. And uh, it has been successful. Like I said, I'm, like I say, it's rifle season here in Maine uh, right now, but I'm still bow hunting and until I can't feel my fingers anymore. And then I'll, I may take the rifle. <laughs> but for right now, I like the bow hunt. Uh, starting off, we uh, can start off with a can call. You've seen these in most of the sporting goods stores. Um, <coughs> They make a little noise like that, um, but uh, I think uh, what we need to clear up is uh, not to use a long call on that, like this. That's too long. In some cases, it could be a distress call and would make uh, animals not come in. Uh, when you use a can call, all you have to remember is just flip it quick and make a shot burst like this. Like that. You want to practice with it. Sometimes it doesn't come out good. It just kind of clicks, but uh, they, have, they have researched these and made them shut uh, so that they'll call a short call. The other way of calling is uh, with a grunt call. And uh, I just happened to have this one here. And uh, the same thing. It, uh, I have more success with shot grunts. Uh, it, it would sound something like this. So maybe just three bursts like that. And then maybe wait. Do it again a couple of minutes, and then maybe wait as much as 15 minutes. Uh, a buck will circle you, hone in on your uh, location, and it might take them a while to come in. So don't feel as though you got to do that uh, all the time. There's another way of calling, and everybody talks about rattling. Uh, I've made up this uh, rig myself. Uh, to carry my antlers, it's a, it goes around your waist, and as you can see, what I did was I, uh, I velcroed around the antler itself, so that they, uh, they come, they stick on, stick on to the belt, so it makes it pretty handy to carry, and so forth, but, uh, more than rattling the antlers, I've had more success getting bucks in just scraping bushes, believe it or not. They've come in to close as 25 yards. And uh, basically it sounds something like this. You just get up against the bush and, and they scrape their hands in it like this. Sometimes you can back off and just click those times like that. And then as the buck gets into the bush, he's going to scrape into the, the separation of those horns. And like, you, like I say, you can do that when you can actually see the buck coming. Just keep on going. And he'll he'll just come in, and uh, it's it's pretty pretty exciting, to, especially when you hear your buddy shoot 
<laughs> but anyway, I hope that's been helpful, helpful to you. And uh, I'm going to get hunt, hunting because that's what I'm doing right now. So um, I'll catch you later.